Welcome to the Mitchum History Notes YouTube channel. In this video, the story of a bus driver retiring in 1954 after working for 42 years driving public transport around London, and he tells the story of a bus conductor and a bag of cash. 70 years ago, in the Sutton and Cheam advertiser, comes the story of Mr. Harry Sharman, bus driver retiring after 42 years' service, which means he started in 1912. The article says his home was in Oakwood Road, Mitcham, but they probably meant Oakwood Avenue. On Thursday, the 3rd of June, he pulled himself into the cab of his bus and for the last time drove on the 152 route, a route passing within a few yards of his home, on which he has worked for the past 16 years. Mr Sharman drove one of the first buses on the 88 route from Mitcham to Oxford Circus and recalls the days when horse-drawn trams plied between Croydon and Tooting Junction. In those days, the cricketers... The Mitcham starting point of the 88 route was in a country setting. During the First World War, he volunteered to act as a civilian driver attached to the Naval Division in Europe. Within 48 hours of telling the foreman at the Merton Depot to, quote, put me on the list, he was on board a ship on his way to Dunkirk, equipped with a car key uniform and a charabang. After 12 months, his unit was disbanded and he returned to England, but a few months later, he was back in France in the army. Talking with an advertiser reporter this week, Mr Sharman recalled the time many years ago when his conductor discovered a bag containing £13 which had been left on the bus, an 88, by a passenger. As they drove on towards Mitcham, the conductor noticed a taxi following the bus. He urged Mr Sharman to drive faster and the bus raced past Figmarsh and the Fairgreen to the cricketers. They arrived ahead of the taxi. The conductor leapt for the bus and hurried to the police station just in time to hand in the bag of money before a woman got out of the taxi and asked if a bag she had lost had been found on the bus. The reason for the conductor's hurry? In those days there was a two shillings and sixpence in the pound reward for articles found and handed in at a police station. So what was the reward the bus conductor got? Two and six in the pounds, so that's half a crown, eight half a crowns to one pound. And Thirteen pounds in the bag, so that's thirteen half crowns or one pound, 12 and six months. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Press the like button if you can. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and leave comments. Bye for now.